Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable mug coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. Are you looking to take your Madden game to the next level? Look no further than Sybil.gg for the best ebooks on the market. Choose one of two membership options, and don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 25% off. What's going on, guys? Today, we are looking at the brand new veteran Teddy Bridgewater before we hop into it though about half of you guys who watch the videos are actually not subscribed so if you right now watching this video isn't subscribed with noties on make sure you go ahead and do that so you don't miss a single gameplay a single tier list or a single upload and in the last video I was kind of talking about tier list and which ones I need to update and I forgot about the theme team the uh, yeah yeah the theme team tier list so that video is coming um, probably early next week I do need to take a little bit more time to kind of plan that one out because I have to go over a lot of different things so yeah that video is coming I did completely forget about it I'm not gonna lie I also did completely forget about talking about the shout out um, for uh, of the day in, in the last couple of videos so that's on me the shout out today goes to my man Joker for commenting the emoji on last video um, I don't know how I kept forgetting but it was like five videos in a row I just forgot to give the shout out so today shout out to Joker for commenting the emoji on last video okay so here is the veteran teddy bridgewater this is actually a pretty cool card because in my opinion you really don't need to power him up for him to be like that much better um usually ea will drop cards that are like one one stat away from that 90 threshold especially at this point of the year but teddy doesn't have any scenario like that i mean obviously powering up teddy could be nice to give him that plus one speed if you have him on a theme team too i mean plus three speed is potentially pretty nice but Honestly, like if you don't need to, if you don't want to spend the training or the coins for his, I mean, it's not that, it's really not that expensive, but this card does not need to be powered up. And also he's a veteran. So even if you don't have him powered up, like for example, right here, he's not powered up. And here are the abilities we're actually rocking on Teddy today, the pass lead dashing combo. But for veterans, you don't need to power them up in order to change the chem. So yeah, Viking, Saints, and Panthers for Teddy does not get Jets, unfortunately, because he actually didn't play a regular season game. The Jets cut them, the Jets cut him before the season even started. So, Teddy Bridgewater, 84 speed, 88 acceleration, 85 agility, 87 awareness, good throw power, uh, good short, good deep act, doesn't only have 88 mid, so having that dashing is definitely going to be very big. A 90 throw on the run, really nice threshold right there, 91 throw under pressure with a 92 play action and a 91 break sack. As a ball carry, he's also not terrible, I mean, good carrying, can definitely get the job done. Is he going to be Lamar Jackson or Mike Vick or Randall Cunningham? No. Is he going to be pretty solid? It, 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 it'd be pretty solid. I feel like this card's best comparison is like Mitch Trubisky, very similar to that, I feel like. But usually I like the way Teddy cards play. I did do a gameplay on the 99 draft Teddy last year, and I actually kind of like that card. So hopefully that kind of carries on to Madden 22. But um, yeah, like I said, here are the tier Teddy's team, Chems. And uh, yeah, here are the abilities we have on Teddy today, dashing and pass lead. Um, that's probably the best combo in my opinion. He does get a skate bar, if you want to go that route, you always could. Uh, but for me, I like, going, I like going with pass lead and really improving his pass game a whole lot. So pass lead and dashing on Teddy today. But um, yeah, let's hop into it. I'm excited to see what Teddy can do. Here we go. All right, here we go. Loading into game number one, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the glasses on. And the reason why I don't wear the glasses in some videos is because of the glare behind me. Um, It's not, like, I still need to wear them for, like, my headaches. I still get really, like, bad migraines. But, man, like, I, I sometimes I can't wear them because, like, the sun shines from behind the glasses and it, I actually can't see the screen well. So, yeah, I can't wear them for this video either. But yeah, that's why a lot of the videos you see me with the glasses. Some videos you see me, you see me with them on. But um, yeah, I do still need to wear them. I sometimes just can't though here because uh, of the of the sunlight. I definitely I keep forgetting. I gotta just order these the, the, these damn blackout uh, curtains or whatever they are. I need to get them. And this this could be six. Do I want it to be six? And I don't. So I'm gonna go out of bounds right here. Here we go. Teddy Bridgewater in the Jets green. We never got to see it. Um, I always kind of was curious as to what would have happened you know with the future of the jets if they just kept teddy i believe that was the season i believe i don't, I don't know the timeline's all kind of weird was that the season with gino and i think fitzpatrick played that year i think it was that year i'm pretty sure it was that year here we go teddy bridgewater obviously rocking the two gloves that's why we all love teddy so much i actually really do like teddy bridgewater it's a, it's a really nice release that's a good short release it's a very and bo jackson obviously gonna help out a little bit there but Good short release. No, there was no gunsling or anything right there. That was a really nice pass. That was that felt really good. I know it was kind of just a short pass. I'm making a big deal out of nothing, I guess, but that felt and looked really good. Here we go. We're gonna try it again. Is he giving us the flats? We should have be open. Get it there, Teddy. Good pass lead. Good catch right there from our man Robbie Anderson. 
And um, we're, we're moving the ball pretty well. He's in cover three match on the 40. Um, we could try a little eye form close bomb. We could give it a try. I would rather see, I'd rather see Robbie run this. We can actually do this with it. Throw him on the corner. We're gonna streak Johnson. This is really just a big bomb play, but it could potentially work here. You never really know. We are, we do still have a little bit of a little bit of ways to go here on the 40 yard line or 39. But let's see how he played. Oh, it's actually covered two. We should we should still have this dot over the top, and that's gonna be a dot right there. And man, PA tight end league is back. Shout out to whoever commented that that play on my last video or two videos ago. Shout out to you because I love that play, and I'll be using that a whole lot. I don't, I don't remember who commented it, but shout out to you. you. Know exactly who you are. So real quick, in between games, I do want to go over the rest of the Wednesday veterans, and we have Carlos Dunlap. He's the high overall card, 93 overall. Nice card art, pretty good stats, good good finesse move, good play rec, um, good awareness. The speed, not the greatest. Um, I'd probably put him at defensive tackle, especially if you have those super fast edge rushers at this point, because there are a lot of options right now. But yeah, good hit power, good pursuit. It's just kind of a nice card. And he's also 6'6", 285, so definitely a big body. Um, next up, we got obviously Teddy. We, we're going over him today. Kyle Rudolph, 6'6", 88 speed, decent run blocker. Good, pretty good after the catch with a good stiff arm. So kind of having him, him and Ingram together could be definitely nice. Um, we also have Tyson Alalu. He's a more of a run-stopping kind of guy, run-stop archetype. Um, 91 tackling, 91 power. Powered up does it for suit threshold and impact block. So I, if you are going to get this card, I would definitely power him up. Does also get Steelers and Jaguars chems. And the last one here is Levante David, who we saw yesterday, who is not bad. I kind of wish he had that 89 zone. So powered up, he'd have 90 zone coverage. But it's what it is. Pretty solid card for the Buccaneers theme team. But again, linebackers are linebackers. So it is what it is. It's zero blitz. Um, get it up there. Should be a dot from Teddy. Underthrown? A little bit underthrown. A very underthrown bite right there by Teddy Bridgewater. Very underthrown. Okay, so the range is definitely a problem. You I feel like a guy like when I had Kirk, I was able to make that throw pretty consistently. I probably should have bulleted past that, but or maybe maybe it's just me not being used to throwing that pass. It could be that. I, I don't know. I don't know. That was um interesting. I feel like we probably should have had that. Teddy definitely. That was a little bit concerning though. A little just a little bit. I feel like he's not about to go zero again here on fourth and 16. Oh, he did, he did go zero. This guy does not care, clearly. We should get Keyshawn open here. I'm going to bullet past this. And it should be a dot for Keyshawn. He's going to come down with it. Okay. Zero blitz. Just got to gotta wait. And hopefully, protection holds up. And we're able to make some nice throws. The timing on this route could be a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie. But foot in the ground. B's open. Not going to happen again. We got a block right out in front. And again, zero blitzers. All you got to do is pick it up. If you, I mean, in, in I form and single back, pressure does get picked up worse. No, no, pressure gets picked up better, and when you're in single back and gun, you get pressured way harder. This guy's actually going to go ahead and quit on the first drive here. Let's hop in another game, though. Well, I mean, maybe cheaper than that, actually, after the little market crash, but he's actually setting pressure off the edge. We clicked on him. Why did he do that? Get it off there, Teddy. Throwing the run really nice. And with a card like Teddy, who doesn't have that 90 mid-accuracy, when you are throwing a mid-pass, if you have dashing, it's actually probably better if you throw it on the run. I know usually it's like, oh, well, you know, you want to have your feet set whenever you're throwing the football, but... When you have when it, when it's a scenario like this, like mid pass on the runs, actually better because the accuracy will will actually be better and better velocity stuff like that. All right, cover four drop. He's not sending that guy. Got a good seal. I'm gonna get it out right there to Bo. Spin that back, Bo Jack. Run him, run him over, Bo. Run him over, Bo. Punish him, Bo. And another pause and don't another quit. That's what three straight quits. I didn't even, I didn't even get to finish that drive. All right, here we go. Game number four here for this Teddy Bridgewater gameplay. We are facing a full 50-50 Dallas team. And the Dallas theme team right now, I mean, I don't, don't want to spoil the theme team tier list, but they're going to be high up there, man. They're going to be very high up there. They got some dolls. They got Everson, Dion. Um, they do have Zeke at running back. They could definitely do better there. But they have Keyshawn and Michael Irvin's coming out this year. Maybe even Terrell Owens. Um, some names like that that are just going to be really cracked. And probably even a good CD card around Christmas time. So... And also, yeah, EA knows that Dallas cards sell packs too. So keep that in mind as well. I feel like the Dallas theme team is just about to be loaded to end this season. And they're already loaded now. Like they have Randall. I mean, they're nasty now. And I can only imagine how much nastier they're going to be um, over the next couple of months as someone is cutting the lawn. If you can hear that, I do apologize. You shouldn't be able to though. It should be all right. Roll out here with Teddy. Corner, a uh, little corner out. Flat it out. Good ball from Teddy. Inbounds are there for our man, Robbie Anderson. Hey, Bridgewater feels good, man. That's all I can really say about him so far. And honestly, all these wildcard Wednesday cards have kind of been the same. Um, just very solid cards that if they fit on your theme team, they all play very well. I haven't seen a wildcard Wednesday card that's come out that I'm like, damn, this card is awful. Um, maybe a couple, but 
I really haven't seen a card like that. So shout out to EA for kind of, you know, making it so there is a little less, um, a little more variety, I guess, is the right word I'm looking for here. That's another great ball. That, that This beater is so good. This is such a good beater. Wow. Okay. But yeah, I feel like every wild card Wednesday card has kind of been the same. It's very solid. If you put the right abilities on them, they can definitely ball out. I do prefer the field generals to the improvisers that have been coming out, but still, all cards have played very solid. Oh, no, no not an onside kick. Uh, it's our ball. Okay. That was kind of a bad one. Oh, we got a full. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Hey, there we go. Oh, and, oh, I motioned the wrong receiver. Okay, pray for me. Get it out quick. Hey, we got we got you, check playmaker. Get off me. I'm on conservative. I tried to stay for me on conservative. Don't try that at home. He has to, whether he's going to use her B or uh, or A. So let's see what he does. We should have B open. Oh, he wants. Oh, I. Oh my goodness, he played it perfectly. I actually got. I almost got bailed out. Damn, I can't end like that. We got to end on a touchdown. Streak that corner route this. And uh, we should get someone open here. Unless he runs with it, which he probably will. He's got Layton, though, so I don't really care if he's running with it, to be honest. And bomb it. Bomb it. Bomb it. Bomb him. Bomb him. Bomb him. Bomb him. Touchdown. Okay, that's a good end right there. Celebrate with Keyshawn, and uh, let, let's cut the outro. So, again, I do apologize for the noise. I'm not even sure if you guys can actually hear it. So, if I just keep talking about it, you guys are probably really confused what I'm even talking about. But if you can't hear it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, I do apologize for it if you can't hear it. But... And 92 Teddy Bridgewater, a solid card. Like I kind of said in the video, all these Wild Card Wednesday quarterbacks, they're just very solid for the respective theme teams. I think Teddy's a cool option. Uh, throw, you know, my, the abilities I had on him today. If you want to go escape artist, you can always do that. But I feel like with, with the pass lead and his release, it's pretty good. And also having dashing, uh, dashing dead is also pretty nice as well. And like I said, the card does not need to really be powered up. It hits a bunch of very important thresholds. Um, powering him up will not really help him that much besides, I guess, plus one speed, which... If you, if you really care about that a lot, then yeah. But if you want to save the coins in the training, you don't need to power this card up, which is definitely a W. And also, yeah, it does get a bunch of team cams, Vikings, Saints, Panthers, and Broncos. But uh, yeah, if you are still watching, let's comment the glove emoji for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.